Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the sixth meeting in 2017 of the Standards, Procedures and Public Appointments Committee. Can I remind everyone to please switch electronic devices to silent? Our first item today is for the committee to agree to take agenda item six in private. This item is a consideration of a complaint report. Agreed. Thank you very much. Item two is for the committee to decide to take future consideration of this report from the Commissioner and its own draft report on the complaint in private at a future meeting. Is that agreed? Thank you very much. We move to agenda item three. Um, it's for the committee to take evidence on a proposed cross-party group on fishing. And I would like to welcome Stuart Stevenson, MSP, to the meeting this morning. And Stuart is proposed co-convener of the group. And I would like to invite Mr Stevenson to make a, an opening statement to the committee. Uh, thank you very much, uh, convener. Uh, the other uh, co-convener that the uh, initial meeting that we held to organise this on the 7th of February is my colleague, uh, Tavi. Scott, uh, we did offer uh, other interested parties the opportunity to be co-conveners, but uh, that's what we've ended up with. Um, since uh, 1999, when the Scottish Parliament resumed, uh, we've never had a cross-party group on fishing. Um, perhaps uh, the profile of fishing in the, the light of the substantial changes that uh, the catching sector in particular expects uh, with leaving the common fisheries policy has uh, drawn together a very diverse group of interests uh, in the industry. Uh, we have people from environmental interests, we made sure they're there, people from the catching sector, people from the processing sector. Fishing is a very important industry uh, for many people in specific areas of Scotland, but probably one uh, that will pass by many others. Uh, we've never had uh, as good quality uh, information flowing from the industry to members in this parliament when we're having debates, uh, and we see the opportunity to get this diverse and often people who quite fundamentally disagree with each other uh, together in one room to make sure parliamentarians are much better informed. I'm delighted we've got uh, representatives uh, uh, at our first meeting and prepared to sign up for membership uh, from all the political parties at the moment apart from the Greens, but that was purely because the person who might be interested happened to be unwell at the time, so I'm expecting. I, I can't commit other people to sign up, but I think that uh, there will be a further sign up. So I, I hope that this will be a group that will better inform Parliament, but also provide a, a structure for the many different parts of the industry to talk to each other in a way that's moderated by their being here uh, and uh, under the BDI of Parliament. Because actually, the industry has surprisingly few opportunities to meet together in all its diversity, and we might for the first time be creating it. I'm very happy, convener, to take any questions that members now have. Thank you very much, Mr Stevenson, and I open up the end, Mr Harvey. Thanks very much. Good morning. Just a, a very simple question for clarification. Uh, the, the name is just fishing. Uh, it seems to imply from the description and the membership that it's about commercial fishing, it's about the fishing industry, and that it's not going to touch on issues relating to fishing as a, as a pastime uh, by individuals. I just wondered whether, you, uh, whether I've got that right and whether you'd considered uh, a name that clarifies that it's about um, commercial fishing rather than uh, the, the kind of fishing that individuals might choose to participate uh, in. Well, you, you, you are correct that it is about the catching of wild fish. Um, it is not, for example, we're not seeking to cover the uh, commercial salmon farming industries or similar, similar industries, but it does not exclude uh, those people who catch wild fish offshore on a non-commercial basis, oh. although we haven't sought to include them because it's difficult. There doesn't appear to be an organisation that we can make contact with. Uh, so when we say fishing, uh, we are covering quite a wide range of activity, but it is restricted to, in essence, uh, off our shores, uh, catching uh, wild fish and people who are related to that in the processing industry. So it is essentially commercial but it isn't seeking to exclude people who have non-commercial interests, and in particular, uh, by 
making sure that we have environmental interests as part of the membership, and they're very keen to be so. Um, we've got a degree of balance of uh, people who are not simply there because they have commercial interests in the industry. So you're not intending to cover things like recreational angling inshore? Um, or... it, it, we're, we're content to include that, right, although okay. we haven't yet found uh, offshore. We okay. haven't found a way of, uh, of, of making contact with people. But it's the first meeting we've had. Okay. We're very open to uh, people with that interest uh, uh, coming to our meetings and participating uh, because it is an important interest. And, and I can say um, right at this moment, there is a piece of secondary legislation that touches on precisely those people's interests uh, that will shortly be coming to a committee of the parliament. So it, it's not a trivial matter and it's quite proper to raise it. Okay. Any further questions? Um, could, could I ask, um, you, you specifically said that you weren't looking at salmon farming, but obviously um, both in ecological issues and in, in other areas, salmon farming can impact on, on wild salmon fishing. Is, can you just explain a little bit more as why salmon farming offshore would be um, excluded? Uh, well, we're, we're not actively trying to exclude it. We simply haven't included it if I can put it that way. Uh, in part, that's because the, uh, the offshore industry is a very complex industry with many different strands of it. They compete with each other. And simply what we've come up with is an attempt to have something that is sufficiently narrowly focused to be possible to do something about. Um, but, but we wouldn't exclude if there was uh, a feeling that, uh, uh, that uh, farming offshore in our lochs and our offshore, uh, we're uh, not finding a proper way to communicate with Parliament. But I think the, the salmon farming industry in particular, very important as it is, I think between three and four hundred pound, million pounds a year to Scotland, uh, has effectively managed to work with Parliament. But the offshore fishing industry, I think, has not hitherto found an effective way of dealing with Parliament and parliamentarians. So that has been an initial focus. But we're not seeking to exclude anyone, and we'd be delighted if other people wish to come and join uh, uh, the group if the uh, committee so approves it to be established. OK. Mr Scott? Thank you, mm -hmm. um, thank you Mr Stevenson. Um, uh, declaring an interest as one of the co-conveners in the cross-party group on food is that indeed the fish farming industry, where I think perhaps you've inadvertently perhaps understated the output of the fish farming industry. Um, I think it's a great deal more than the figure you gave. But notwithstanding that, is that where you would see perhaps a crossover with the cross-party group and food in that regard? Although very much the wild fish that you are talking about representing that, those particular interests that is also for food. Um. Yes, our, our focus is not directly on food, but there are people who, uh, for example, the Scottish Seafood Association, uh, who are uh, pro members of this proposed group, uh, do cross over, obviously. Uh, to interest in food. By the way, I'm delighted to hear I underestimated the, the value of salmon, a product I, I really personally love um, and I hope remains uh, very successful in an environmentally uh, proper way. Uh, but, but I think in practice, we're not, uh, there isn't any evidence so far that we're going to uh, cross over to, to be talking about food as our core activity. Uh, we are part of the supply chain that enables Scotland to uh, have an important role in food and drink, uh, both domestically and internationally. Any further questions? Uh, uh, then I can I thank Mr Stevenson for his attendance at committee this morning. We'll be taking a decision on the proposed group at our next ag agenda item, and you'll be informed of that decision as quickly as possible. Thank you very thank you much, Convener. So, agenda item four is um, for the committee to consider whether to accord recognition of the proposed cross-party group on fishing. Any comments? Yeah, I think, I think they've actually identified a gap that should have been filled long ago, and when they have identified it, I think, with staring you in the face, it, I'm surprised there hasn't been a group on it before. So, I think it's good. OK. Any further comments? Yeah. No. no. Extend to mollusks and muscles and that sort of thing, but I resisted the temptation. Mm. 
Yeah. Interesting. I'm sure that will come up in some of the ecological discussions, but anyway, we're farming the seabed. Um, but uh, on that note, can I ask for the committee to approve? Mm -hmm. Committee? Thank you very much. Uh, and we now move into private session. <laughs>